Hey everyone, it's Glenn and Garth, and I think we're deviating this week to something a bit more interesting. Well, not more interesting. Should oh. I say that? I shouldn't say that. Gee but whiz. to something else is is, is uh, <laughs> similarly interesting. <laughs> I don't and know what to say now, Glenn. I I feel like I need to, you know. Just... All right. Well, you. How about you? Just tell us what you got. All right. So, uh, what have we got? On Windows, you've got this in Word. You're typing away in a document, and you have autocomplete things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can type a little phrase and it expands it out to a huge, big, long paragraph or yes. finishes your autocomplete words. Yes. Well, that same feature is built straight into iOS as well. Okay. So, if you go into settings, yes. then into general, yes. keyboard, yes. and in there you'll find a shortcuts link, uh, you know, where you can set up shortcuts. Yep. So, there's a default one in there that Apple have put in to get you started, which is OMW for On My Way. Right. So everyone, grab out your iPhone, type in OMW, and you'll see it automatically will expand to On My Way. Nice. So you can set up your own ones of those. Oh, so yeah. for me personally, I have it set, uh, I have a few set up, you know, um, have GML for my Gmail account. It'll bring out my Gmail email address, or WML for my work email address, various text shortcuts that um, autocomplete or uh, there's an app called Text Expander which does the same sort of thing. Yeah, this is handy. This but is this, good. Um, this is this good. This is really good because, you know, one of the things on iOS is the typing, you know. It, it's still a bit of a hassle. It's not the same as getting a keyboard. So anything you can do to make that typing happen a little bit quicker for you. Mm. So if you've got um, another good handy one is to use it for signatures. If you have different signatures for emails, like some oh, professional yes. work email address. Yes. Um, you can... You can, uh, you can put in different signatures for different accounts, but if you have different signatures you want for different email addresses, then yes, you know, nice. different people, then you can do that as well. So what happens, how does it, does it know uh, the, no, so you, you type in OMW for On My Way, yep. but what happens if you chose a shortcut like um, uh, now, like N-O-W, but that's actually a word? Well, you'd be an idiot, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so clearly you don't want to... You know, select. So when you go into mm. settings, general, keyboard, and the shortcuts, the text expands, whatever they call it, shortcuts in there, it'll give you a text field where you type the phrase that you want it to expand to, and another text field where you can type in what you want the contraction to be. Right. So clearly, do not pick a contraction like N O W, which is a word. Otherwise, you won't be able to type N O W anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, or you'll have fun doing so. Now, just to, just to uh, recap there, it's tap settings, yep. navigate to general, exactly. keyboard, and add new shortcut. That's right. There you go. And, and just follow your nose. It's a little bit different nose. depending on whether you're on your iPad or your iPhone. There's a slightly different interface there, but it's basically exactly the but same. But follow your nose. And um, you had another little, little tip for us this oh, week. One last thing on that one, though is yes. now under iOS 6, these have been around for a while, but under iOS 6 they now uh, automatically sync between, uh, with iCloud between your devices. So you set it up once on your iPad and it'll be on your iPhone as well. Nice, nice. Now, now another one that I'd like to quickly go over is the emoji keyboard. Now, emoji or however you want to say that one. So that's your smiley faces and your, you know, your little symbols and things like that. Mm. So that keyboard is also built straight into iOS. Um, if you go into the same sort of location that we were there, general settings, uh, what is it? Settings, general keyboard, and under there, there's a or set it, yeah, gen, yeah, ta launch settings, settings on general. the general. Yep, tap the keyboard, and yep. then again on add new keyboard. Add new keyboard. Scroll, scroll down yep. to emoji and tap on it, and they'll appear active in your keyboard settings. Exactly. So now on your actual keyboard, when you're in a text field. Right down the bottom left-hand corner between the dictate button and the, you know, the numbers button, you'll have a other keyboards button. Mm. And if you tap on that, you'll find all these smiley faces. And there's about, oh, there's like five or six different pages of smiley of different faces. There's, op, oh, there's I don't know. Piles there's, of poo. There's so, yeah, the <laughs> steaming pile of poo. That's one of the icons. Seriously, I kid you not. It is. There you can see it, right? You can literally spend a day going through how many... There's thousands of them in there. Yep. Um, oh, there is. There's heaps. There's, there's hearts. Heaps. There's people. There's thumbs up, thumb down, okay. Yeah. Punches, high fives, uh, beers, hamburgers. Um, Mount Fuji. Farts, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Everything's in there. Yeah, there's heaps of stuff in there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then you can just toggle between the different keyboards you have enabled. Now tell me, when you do use any emoji, uh, yes. is it only, as far as you're aware, is it only coming out on the iOS 
that's Other the end. biggest problem with it. Mm. So it's um, devices that support it. So if you're sending a text message to uh, iOS, Android person, oh yes, yes, they might not hear it properly. They might no. not see it properly. I should yeah. say, <laughs> <laughs> and you might not have heard me say Android. No. no, no, yeah. no. So um, yeah, it look, yeah. That is, isn't, that is an issue. All right. So if you ever wondered how to do, get the little smiley faces, there you go. Emoji. The emoji keyboard. Go and give you a... Add that one as well. Go and jump on that as well. Exactly. All right. So that's it. Good stuff, Garth. Good couple of tips there this week. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm sure you will. Ta-da. Mm.